Hello. Let's talk about cultivating gratitude. How can we go beyond feeling grateful to being a more grateful person? It takes practice to consistently know gratitude on a regular basis. It's so easy for us to lapse into negativity and griping and whining and just skip over opportunities for gratitude. Yet one of the common items listed on those top 10 things successful people do in the morning is having a gratitude practice. And generally, this would be included with journaling in the morning, along with the intention setting that we've talked about in the past. It doesn't have to be done this way, though. Any practice that reminds you to stop and focus your attention on recognizing opportunities to be grateful and moving away from ungrateful thoughts like, I deserve this. I didn't get what I wanted versions of apathy or boredom, as opposed to seeing things with fresh eyes, as though everything is new and exciting. Being grateful, not with expectations to be happier, mind you, or richer, more successful, but because it's a wonderful way to truly experience life at its best. We miss so much. I believe people who live a life of thankfulness live a happier life, and have a more positive outlook on where they are now and what their prospects for the future are. My partner, CJ, recently found this family blessing board on Etsy. You can use it to celebrate birthdays and events, of course, but also moments to be grateful for and in writing a moment to be grateful on one of the tags and putting it on the board, the family can celebrate together. In my office, I have this little silver bell. Now, we use this bell to celebrate things. Maybe it's a new client. When our son has a great day at school, grades, or just because we're grateful that we're all together and we had a good day. Having something that reminds you to recognize what you have to be grateful for can really avoid, help you avoid forgetting to be grateful. If your gratitude doesn't lead to some form of action though, it can feel kind of empty. Research shows that when people are grateful, they're more motivated to become altruistic and generous, giving back in some way. People actually see that when they're grateful, it enables them to grow and become grateful for the ability to give and support others. And of course, this starts a chain reaction of gratitude and generosity that continues to ripple out. Now, you can start this by making a habit of starting every morning or ending every day with a gratitude list. Write these things down. It can feel really great to go over this list on days you're not feeling so grateful, or you just need a reminder of all the beauty in your life and all the things you have to be grateful for. Or when you get yourself feeling ungrateful, maybe a little whiny, you can turn your mood around and maybe that of those around you by simply noticing everything around you right in that moment to be grateful for. You'd be amazed how many things there are. So let's take a breath and do a short gratitude meditation. Get settled. Take a breath. Now let your awareness move to your immediate environment. All the things that you could smell or taste, touch, see, hear. Say to yourself, I am grateful for and mention those things aloud or to yourself or write them down. Now bring to mind those people in your life to whom you are close, your friends, your family, your partner, your child, and say to yourself for them, I am grateful. Now this is a little harder. Turn your attention on to yourself. You are a unique inv individual, blessed with imagination, the ability to communicate, to learn from the past and plan for the future, to overcome any pain you may be experiencing. You're strong. Say to yourself, for this, I am grateful. And now finally, rest into the realization that life is a precious gift that you are here right now, 
that you have the gift of health, beauty, and love. Say to yourself, for this, I am grateful. And I am grateful for you. Thank you.